Happy St. Patrick's Day or belated St. Patrick's Day. Thank you for checking out my mailbox. Um, actually, I was going to wear this hat to be festive, but it's huge and looks funky and you can't see my eyes, so not going to do that. Um, I kind of had an epic mailbox or mail week this week, so it might be a little bit longer than normal. Bear with me. Um, first, I'm going to start with the, I'm not going to show it because I want it to be kind of a surprise for when the actual event starts next month. I don't know how many of you know, but I'm doing a, I'm hosting a Cinder event all month in April, and I got a nice envelope of awesome from Marissa Meyer to do for some giveaways, and I've also got some more stuff coming actually from McMillan, they're going to send some more stuff to do for giveaways, so stay tuned because you're going to have all kinds of chances to win cool stuff that have to do with Cinder. Uh, so there's that, and then I actually won a few giveaways. This is actually a couple weeks worth of stuff because I wasn't home last week to be able to do a mailbox, but um, I got a whole bunch of awesome swag from Michelle at Passionate Bookworm. Um, I put it all in my box so it's kind of mixed in, but I got a bunch of cool swag from her, which I love because, you know, swag's fun. And I actually bought some artwork magnets that uh, her and her boyfriend did because they're both artists. And she was showing off some stuff on Twitter and I saw it and really liked it. Um, the first two that I got her, her boyfriend Taylor actually made. I don't know how you can see that. It's like a little skeleton dude with bubbles in the background. It's really cool. And then this one is like a spider on its web with some mushrooms there in the side and he actually even signed them for me so someday when he's totally famous these are going to be even more cool because you know they're signed so that's awesome and then this is one that Michelle did I love this it's like Red Riding Hood with the wolf in the background and actually I'm getting some more of these from her to be part of some of the giveaways during the Cinder event next month so that's going to be cool too you guys will have a chance to get some of those or if you just want to buy some from her you absolutely can just look her up on her blog passionate bookworm and uh, get her Twitter info and tweet her and she will tell you how to do it and they're really affordable and super cute so I definitely think that's an awesome idea um, let's see what else Ooh, I won this from penguin it's one of their limited edition disenchantment posters from the book, The Disenchantments, because I am absolutely in love with that book. It's a picture of the VW Bug that they drive around in on their tour, and I just think it's really cool, and I was so excited when I got the email from them that I actually won it. So, you know, that's always cool. I'm moving soon, so I might get a frame, and no, I know I'll get a frame and hang it up on my wall. Um, I also won from uh, Talk Sue. A copy of Timeless by Gail Carriger. I actually have the first three in this series. This is the fifth one. I need to buy the fourth, which I'm planning on doing probably this week. Um, I've only just read part of the first one so far, but I really like it. So I think one of these days I'll just sit down and read them all because, you know, they're going to, that's just an awesome thing to do sometimes. They also sent me this cute little bookmark who's been reading my book and it's got their blog on the bottom of it it's just this, like a handmade laminated bookmark really cool and the other part of the giveaway was this really awesome necklace from uh, unexpected expectancy makes them it's like a, a um, steampunk necklace and it's really cool I don't know how well you can actually see it on there but it's a really cool necklace. It's like the inner workings of like watches and things, I think. But it's really neat. So I'm kind of afraid to ever wear it. I don't want to like ruin it. But I might hang it on my wall or something. It's just so pretty. And then they also sent me a nice little card with just this nice little message. I think that they're absolutely sweet over there. And if you've never gone to their blog, you should definitely check it out. Talk Soup. They do all kinds of supernatural, paranormal stuff. I think that's everything I won this week, um, but I did buy a few things. I've been trying to be good, but, you know, sometimes you can't help it. And I actually, the bookstore that I work at was having an awesome 50% off for Shatter Me. And even though I read it last year and really liked it, I just hadn't gotten a hard copy of it. And you really can't beat, you know, 50% off plus then I got, uh, you know, my own 
employee discount. And so it was a super deal, and I'm so excited to have a hardcover copy. I'm planning to go see her and Veronica Rossi in April, I believe, in Miami. So I will be getting this signed for sure because, you know, that would be awesome as well. Um, I also bought The Talents by Inara Scott because I am uh, doing the marked blog tour obviously and the series is awesome and I had the hardcover when it came out gosh I think it's been two years ago now and I liked the paperback better because it matches the new covers and I just thought it was prettier so I wanted to go ahead and get a copy of that and it matches perfectly with the the arc that I have of the marked for right now and then it will match perfectly when I go ahead and buy the paperback of the marked um, I also bought Deadly Cool because this was hilarious. I love this book. I am so excited to read the next one in the series. Um, I had it in ebook, but I just really liked the cover on it and I wanted to have it on my shelf because when you love a book, sometimes you just want to have it on your shelf. And so I went ahead and got that one. Um, let's see here. Oh, yes. I got He's So Not Worth It uh, by Kieran Scott. Because I'm actually, hopefully it'll come in the mail next week. I did a swap with uh, Haley G. And she's uh, swapped me and is sending me This is So Not Happening. And I cannot wait to find out what happens at the end of the series. Because the cliffhanger at the end of this book was insane. And this is another one that I had in ebook form. But then I saw that it was on Bargain at Amazon. And I couldn't pass it out. Because they just got such cool, I just like their covers. They're so pretty and colorful and it's, it's a really, this is a cool trilogy. It's not, you know, most of the time trilogies usually are supernatural or paranormal of some type. It's just a contemporary, and I love contemporary. So definitely one worth checking out this series. The first one is called She's So Dead to Us, and that's also a good one. Although I think the second one I liked even more than I liked the first one, and I'm sure I will love the third one. So, yeah, that's always awesome. Now, I actually had um, a freakout moment in the mail this week because I had sent a request and I hadn't heard back, which is fine. You know, everybody's busy at all the publishing places, what have you. So I wasn't sure if I was going to be getting it or not. And then I got a package on Tuesday from the UPS man and opened it up. And inside I found Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris, which I am so excited to read. I have been wanting this to read this for forever. And I was actually just talking, I think it was Monday night on Twitter, with Sophia from the book basement about how much I need this book in my life. So when it showed up on Tuesday, I screamed, literally screamed. I had to contain myself while the UPS man was there because I did not want to freak him out. I was so excited because I saw on the package actually that it said it was from Harper. So I had a feeling that that's what it was. And I just, I could not be happier. And I'm probably going to read it very soon because I can't contain my excitement and then tell you all how amazing it is because I'm sure it's absolutely amazing and then I also requested social suicide and so she went ahead and sent me that as well so that's very exciting since I just bought my paperback copy of Deadly Cool so that's really good I'm super excited to keep reading about Hartley because she cracks me up and I love a mystery that's got humor in it the Deadly Cool series definitely worth checking out if you haven't already um what are you waiting for, basically, is what I'm saying right now. Um, I also got The Hunt by Andrew Fukuda. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know. It sounds awesome. It's gotten a bunch of good blurbs from some fabulous authors that I love. And it just sounds like it's going to be full of action and, you know, drama and maybe even a little bit scary. Um, so I'm really excited to read this one, too. Um, I think I'll probably read it soon as well so that I can, you know, get my thoughts up and out there um and also for review i got this summer my life began excuse me on uh, net galley um that is by oh my goodness i forgot to write down the author's name i will put it in the list under the video um and i also got shadow and bone by lee bardugo which i can't wait to read i wish the i well i hope i actually haven't opened up the e-galley yet but i hope that it has all the maps that i've been hearing are actually in the book if not that's okay i'll just wait till the book comes out and buy it but and i got uh, monument 14 by emmy Layburn. um this one sounds so cool 
Like, I just can't even, I, and the cover of it just makes me think it's going to be so, so exciting. I don't really, you know, I mean, I always, always say that I love contemporaries and it's my favorite genre, but honestly, I also really like paranormal and supernatural and dystopian. I, I just like everything, you know? I mean, I love contemporaries, but I love everything else too. And I'm really excited for Monument 14. Um, and I also got Breaking Beautiful from NetGalley uh, by Jennifer Shaw Wolf. This one I have been really excited for for a while now. So when it went up on NetGalley, I and I requested it from Bloomsbury. I was so excited that I got approved for it, and I'm probably going to start that one after I read Unraveling uh, because they come out I think around the same time, and I just really want to read both of them. So you know, obviously. Uh, for review, that is everything I got as far as that goes. I did do a couple of swaps. Um, that I got in the mail. That, well, actually, technically just one swap, but it was for a few books that I got this week from Lindsay. Um, we traded and she sent me Perception, which is awesome because I loved Clarity. In fact, I'm planning to pick up a paperback copy of Clarity here soon because it's another one that I've got on my e-reader instead of on my bookshelf. But I love the new covers, and so I want to pick up the paperback. Um, I can't wait to read what is going on with Claire in the next of this. I've heard really good things about it, so I'm really excited for that one. Uh, I also got Struck by Jennifer Bosworth. And this one, I just think, I, I love the concept of lightning. I just think that's neat. I've not read a book that the main character is, you know, addicted to lightning. I mean, that's just so original. And I've heard really good things about it as well, so I'm really excited to start it. And then lastly, Sweet Evil, which initially, I, when I first saw it, I thought it looked really cool and I wanted to read it. But every time I go on Twitter, it seems like somebody else is saying how amazing this book is. So I can't wait to start it. I plan to start, and I think probably this week, I, I, I know I keep saying that, but I'm planning to read Unraveling, um, Breaking Beautiful and Sweet Evil all this week because they're all coming out I think next end of next month so I'm gonna get them read and reviews written up for that but I'm really excited I I just feel like it's not gonna let me down I can't imagine everybody else seems to love it so much all right and then let's see I think that's all of that for books but I did get some awesome not book things slightly book related but not completely book uh, I got I went ahead and went on to the Facebook site for The Hunger Games where you could get your free ID, district ID, and that came in the mail this week. I am District 6 Transportation. I don't know how well you can see that. These are actually really cool. They have like a, a barcode on the back of them, but they're really thick, kind of like a credit card or, you know, an actual like driver's license or like a legit ID. So I thought that was really cool that Cafe Press is doing those for free. Um, and then I also got from Cafe Press because I couldn't help myself and they offered it when I signed up for my ID. I got a couple of magnets. Maybe you can see them through the, the plastic here. One of them says District 6, and it has the uh, District 6 logo on it. And the other one says the 74th Annual Hunger Games on it. So those are really cool. Stick those up somewhere once I get moved. And then I also, I love journals. I'm kind of a journal addict. And they had uh, personalized with your ID number and your name and your district tribute journals is what they were calling them. It's just regular lined paper in it, just a spiral bound, but I just thought it was really cool, so I went ahead and ordered that as well. I didn't order one of the shirts because I'm pretty sure I'm going to go ahead and order one of the PETA has croissant shirts that I've been seeing all over the place that I think are absolutely adorable, um, but I did want to get some personalized official Hunger Games stuff. And um, I also got at work, we got a bunch of the products for the movie in, and they had a lenticular bookmark of just the logo. So that's really cool. Um, and then we had these little figurines, and I, they're surprise figurines. You don't know which one you're getting, so I just had to buy one to see. And it's a little plastic figurine of Gale, just standing there, being Gale-like, I guess. So that's cool. And I also got a Happy Bunny bookmark that says, don't blame me, I was born awesome. Anybody that actually knows me knows that awesome is one of my favorite words to use. In fact, I use it probably too much. And when I saw that, I just couldn't pass it up. It was too awesome 
See? Ah, there you go. And then I also got Game of Thrones Season 1 on Blu-ray because Game of Thrones is fabulous and Blu-ray is fabulous and I've been watching it and it's so good. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's so worth a watch. And then I was talking with a couple of uh, bloggers on Twitter this week about uh, this particular movie. I was talking to Sophia from The Book Basement and Rebecca from Reading Wishes. And so I had to buy it because we kept talking about it and I just really wanted to watch it again. And it's not on Netflix anymore. So I went ahead and ordered Prom. It's not book related, I know, but it's awesome. And if you haven't seen it, you really should watch it. It's super cheesy, but it's super adorable and I just can't help but love it. Okay, that is everything. Everything I got this week now that I've bored you to death. Thank you for bearing with me if you are still here at the end of this video. Uh, I hope everyone else had a great mail week and uh, let me know what you got in your mailboxes. Thanks guys.